hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have aquarius anywhere in your birth chart this video may resonate with you so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe also you guys i'm doing personal readings so if you want a personal reading to get your pacific energy on a situation just email me my email is in the description box down below okay so let's see what's going on for aquarius spirit guides of the night and test the masters my angel is crying light. Like. So let's see what's going on for new love, you know? Get some fresh energy. What's going on for new love for Aquarius? This is a general reading, okay? So it may or may not resonate with you, okay? So let's see. Tell me about what's coming in for Aquarius for new love. Spirit guys, love light. And so the cinema asses, my angel is crying light. Like. What's happening for Aquarius for new love? Don't need this popping out. Okay. What's going on? What is this on my thing? Mm. I don't know that camera. I might get to wash this now. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius for New Love. Okay. So we have the Eight of Cups. So it could be connected to a Pisces. We have here the King of Cups. So... Pisces again, Cancer, Scorpio, it could be connected to. But I'm seeing here, this one here has a lot of emotions for you. This new person, okay, this person, they really want to like be the one for you. And I feel like if you haven't walked away from a situation yet, then this person is not coming. For some of y'all, I feel like it's a new person that's like admiring you from afar and they know that you are like dealing with a toxic relationship right now and they're waiting for you to walk away here somebody here wants to show you how you're supposed to be treated okay and this person just in the background just waiting for you to walk away from a situation so they can make their move and express their feelings and love for you but for some of y'all y'all already walked away from a situation okay that you know emotionally drained you and now you're walking in towards this person who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Okay? Yeah, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is your counterpart. Okay? Yeah, see? The sun. This is beautiful. I'm so happy for you guys. Yes, you're about to be happy. Okay? You're about to have so much joy. Y'all going to have so much fun with each other. The sex is going to be amazing. Okay? It's like the communication. You, some of y'all, y'all don't even see this coming. I feel like you're just so focused on your own happiness right now, which you should be, you know, loving yourself, okay, following your um goals, you know, that you don't even see this coming. Nine of Wands. And you're getting with somebody here that when they go through something, they don't play victim or they don't just stay stagnant. You know, like they, they try to see how they can make their situation better. Because I'm saying you could have been dealing with somebody here or people that it's like, they don't know how to like deal with like life, you know, because life happens, you know, and it's like, you can't allow what you go through in life to make you a bad person or hurt the next person, you know? Because everybody go through shit, you know? But this person, they're not going to be the type to project, you know, if they're dealing with something, they're not going to project that onto you. And I and I feel like you're going to love the fact that this person expressed themselves. Like, you don't have to be, like, trying to, like, get something out of this person, you know? Like you probably did with other lovers where they were stubborn and shit like that. This person, they're not going to be that way. Yeah, not of wands. Okay. This person is going to be so passionate about you. What else? We have the queen of cups and the nine, nine of wands. Yeah, somebody here that's going to be mad, an ex of yours is going to be pissed off, looking stupid, because they're going to see that you're in love, you're happy, okay? And yeah, this person, they just 
play with your heart, your emotions, okay? They want to fuck with multiple people, you know? And now you're about to be with somebody here that's going to be faithful to you, okay? That's going to pamper you. That's going to accept you for who you is. Some of you guys could be a psychic or you could, you know, do tarot or something like that. And this person, they're not going to like think that that's weird or talk shit about you behind your back, you know, to people about what you do for work. Because I feel like somebody here could have did that, like, could have been saying like, oh, this is weird what so-and-so do, like, you know, because they're not used to seeing people do shit like this, you know? I feel like this person, an uh, ex of yours could have like bragged or something like that. Or said something to somebody about the fact that you do tarot or you have a spiritual business or you're into things like that. And somebody could have said, oh, they do voodoo or don't don't be with that person. They're going to do some type of black magic on you or some shit. Not knowing what the fuck they're talking about, you know, because somebody here is stupid. Okay. And they could have like believed the person that was like talking shit about what you do. Mm-hmm. And I feel like also that you're going to be suspicious of this new lover, okay? Because I feel like you have done so much work on yourself with the Queen of Cups here. And it's like, you don't got time for nobody to be coming in, you know, putting on a mask. Like, you're going to be looking at this person like, hmm. Like, but don't, don't, be, don't be too hard on them, okay? We're, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. But I don't feel like this person is going to do anything, like, super you know, bad to break your heart or anything like that. Okay, so make sure your heart chakra is open and that you're open to receiving this love. Okay, you can't be like cooped up for the rest of your life. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the energy that we, we love to see. What else? We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, this is a new lover coming through. And I feel like it's an ex, of course, it's going to be an ex. They always want some attention. They always pop up in my readings. They're going to want to come back and apologize to you. But I feel like the apology is going to be fake as fuck. Like they ass. And I feel like this new person, it's like they love the way that you dress, how you carry yourself. I feel like if you got social media, this person just be looking at your pictures. Like, it's not a day that they don't go back looking at your pictures or your videos. They just love watching you. We have the emperor in reverse. Yeah, this person, they're not going to be controlling. Okay. Yeah, ten of cups. Period. Period. I love this reading. See, I'm smiling. I feel like you're going to be smiling. You're going to be like, oh my God, this came like this. But some of y'all, you're going to think that this is too good to be true. Please don't think that way because this is what you deserve. Okay. You deserve to be treated, um, like a queen or a king, okay? But I feel like you're gonna create a family with this person. I don't know, for some of y'all, this person probably have kids already. And for some of y'all, this person don't have kids. And y'all gonna, you know, make, I just heard a big family. So some of y'all can want a big family. Some of y'all just probably want like one kid or, you know. And we have Knight of Swords. See, somebody here is coming, running, trying to get to you. Mm-hmm. For some communication. It's like this person is like they see that you're happy. I feel like you you feel this person energetically. Or you could have had a dream about this person trying to come to you and communicate with you or some shit like that. But you you feel it intuitively that this person um is watching you. And for some of y'all, y'all going to know when this new person that come through, y'all going to know like, yeah, this is the person that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. With the high priestess here. But I feel like somebody here is going to be jealous. They're going to be either trying to like um, message the person that you're dealing with and try to like, you know, either do some petty shit or say something here to like make this person not want to be with you or try to break up a happy home. You know, but I feel like you guys are going to be so tied in and locked in that ain't nobody going to come between y'all. So don't even worry about this weird ass motherfucker. They're just jealous. 
Ace of Swords. Yeah, y'all gonna y'all got clarity. I feel like you either gonna tell this person like, you know, you were dealing with somebody here, they were super toxic. Okay, this person had destructive behavior. They don't have all their screws tied. You feel me? Like and clarify the ace of swords. I feel like somebody here is trying to come in like defend their beliefs about something. But it's like you already know the truth. You know what's up. You feel me? So it's like whatever they're trying to say to, you know, make you go back to them is not going to work. Six of Wands, clarify the Ace of Swords. What else? For the, clarify the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. In reverse. Yeah, somebody here is going to try to like act like they're coming to taste some type of truth, but it's not going to be the truth. Or if anything, it's going to be half truth to something. If you want to speak to this person, but they're there, I feel like this person they're going to try to come in and tell you some type of half truth or not the truth at all because they're trying to see if they still got you, like they can have you when they want to, so it could boost their fucking ego. They're not trying to work on shit with you. You feel me? Yeah, this person they're just a burden. They have too much fucking baggage. Okay. Leave their neg negative ass alone. You've seen what you need to see. You know the truth about this person. Don't allow this person to come in and try to, you know, make you think otherwise. Like you was wrong for leaving them. Yeah, temperance. Somebody here is going to ask you, can you be patient with them? That they don't want to lose you. They've been sad since you, you left them. Just really trying to like manipulate you yeah that they want to be with you but this person i'm telling you right now they just want to be in control of you they feel like you're theirs yeah queen of swords be intelligent use your discernment okay don't allow this person to trick you and and we have the justice yeah and then some of them are going to say they're going to treat you fair, you know, like let them just come back one more time. And, you know, yeah, that they miss you. They can't stop thinking about the memories that y'all have of each other. Or they want their family back if y'all had a, ch a child with this person. Clarify the temperance. Two of Cups. Yeah, I thought you were going to be in a balanced connection where you're in love. Okay. <laughs> what else for the temperance? Like, yeah, Queen of Wands. I thought you are going to speak your, your mind. You're going to tell this person, like, I'm happy. I'm sorry. You know, it happened how it happened, and it is what it is. But she is, you're not sorry. Fuck that. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> it is, you feel me? Like, it is what it is. Like, you... You, it's over. I don't know what else to say. Like, I feel like you don't know what to say to this person, but just leave me the fuck alone and have a nice life. Please and thank you. And if you, I don't know, for some of y'all, this person was already dealing with somebody here with the hyphen at the bottom of the deck. Go back to that hoe. Okay, that's going to allow you to do what you want to do and all that other extra shit. Or go back to him. Change the genders. What else? Yeah, two of swords. Go back to um somebody that allow you to have multiple options and be confused about them. Go back to your stalemate partner. Yeah, the tower in reverse. Somebody here is resistant to go through some type of change. They don't want to see the truth about a situation here. They want to stay fucking stuck. And in denial. So allow them to. While you experience this beautiful love. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here could be going through some type of divorce. Or they could be saying that they're leaving that person. They want to be with you. A bunch of fucking nonsense. Somebody here is in a situation here where they're unhappy. I just heard fake it to make it. They're broke. Whatever the fuck they at. 
Yeah, they're not happy for cups. <laughs> this person's not happy where the fuck they at. They like. <laughs> Look at this person in this car. Y'all see her? She like. What the fuck did I didn't get myself into? And I feel like you rejected them. Yeah. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you rejected they ass because somebody here is sneaky. They're deceptive here. They can't be fucking trusted. This person could have been threatening you with some more shit. And that's how you felt when you was with they ass. Four of Cups. You weren't happy with them. What else? Yeah, the moon card in reverse. Some shit that they did behind your back here, it came out. Some type of secret here that they were trying to hide. It came out. Whatever's fucking down in the dark will come to the motherfucking light. Better know that. What else? You didn't even try to get revenge out on this person. This person's going to get their karma. They're going to get what the fuck they deserve. Because they ass broke right now. Not in, not happy in whatever relationship that they're in. While you're, look, you're celebrating. Feeling fulfilled. Accomplished. At peace with your person. Yeah, see, now I just said that five pentacles. Or somebody here is lonely. Feeling abandoned. Don't do people like that. Or you feel me? I don't know what people be expecting when they do people bogus. Like, like that shit ain't gonna come back. But I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.